In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an indeterminate loader to your Android app design. Let's get started. So to get started, I'm opening up a project that I'm currently working on. It's an Android modal design that I've already imported into Origami from Sketch and animated. In the first part of this tutorial, I show you how to get up to this point, and I'll link that video in the description below. So in that video, I basically show you how to make this modal appear. So essentially, this is the landing state of the application. I could click delete all, and then a modal will appear. And then if I say cancel, it returns to the previous state. But if I select delete all, then everything disappears and the trash is now empty. I'm going to want to add an interaction here, so if the user selects delete all and there is some lag time, that a loader will appear, and once all of the content is deleted, then it will dismiss it. So in that first tutorial, I go over how to get up to this point, which includes adding switch patches and transition patches to make this modal appear and disappear depending on what the user taps on. So in this part of the animation, if the user taps on this delete all, this switch is turned on, which basically not only reverts back the interaction of the modal disappearing, but it also removes all the messages and makes the empty state appear. So for this state, I'm going to want to transform it so that a loader will appear in this modal area. So first, I'm going to go to this plus area and add a rectangle. The rectangle will essentially cover up the text on the modal, so the text will appear as if it's fading, then the loader will appear, and then once it's completed, then everything will fade out. I'm adding this rectangle that first I'm just going to hide initially, and then I'm going to manipulate these patches. So when this delete all button is tapped, I want the switch to turn on, which will make this rectangle appear, and then the loader will appear. So this is the other interaction that I want to occur, but I'm going to actually move it down and detach it from that switch because we don't want all of the messages to disappear right away. Here I'm just going to grab a classic animation of 0.2 seconds to make this rectangle appear so it will have a transition of 0 to 1 of the opacity of this layer. So I'm going to have this rectangle layer selected and I'm going to affect the opacity of this layer. Then I'm also going to want to include an indeterminate loader to then appear on the page. So I'm going to go to this plus again go down to Material, and then click Circular Progress. There are properties that appear that are native to this element, like the size, the amount of the progress that's filled in, the thickness of it, and the active color. So first, I'm actually going to make this active color match the one in the designs, and I might modify the thickness of it a little bit. And I will make it an indeterminate loader by selecting this value right here, so it just spins naturally. So I only want the circular progress to appear when this switch is turned on. So I'm going to add a transition of zero to one to basically enable the circular progress. So let's see how this works. I'm going to say delete all, and now this appears. But it seems like that overlay and this kind of initial transition occurs when I do select that. I'm actually going to detach it from the initial transition that occurs. So again, I will refresh the prototype, say delete all, and then delete all here, and now this appears. So after maybe about like one second, I'm going to want to have the other animations occur. So I'll add a wait patch here. So I'll double tap and write wait. After about two seconds, after this animation has already occurred, I'm going to want to turn off that original and I'm going to want to turn off this one. So if I refresh, we'll just see what it looks like. Delete all. It appears as though there's some kind of lag that occurs in between these interactions, as if this sequence is happening first and then this sequence is happening, but I want them actually both to occur at the same time. So here I think I'm actually just going to add a switch patch here and turn it on when this wait is true. Let's try again. And now everything happens at the same time. So by adding a switch patch here, now I can say that when this wait becomes true, turn on both of these switches. I might actually increase this to three seconds. And that's it. So that's how I add indeterminate loaders to my Android app designs. Please let me know if you have any questions about the topic and subscribe to stay up to date with my latest content. Thanks for watching.